hot, been much the same. In a technological sense, we've had everything's been going smaller and smarter. I could get this really wrong. I mean, I'll look back at this in 30 years. Yeah. I might be like, what am I talking about? Um, but I think largely on a surface level, it will be much the same. Um, you know, just like looking out over the world, things might not be too different. I think technology would have um, accelerated quite a lot. There'll probably be uh, much more use of um, smart devices, uh, autonomous systems for things that we do uh, manually at the moment. I'm sure by then, I'm sure by then uh, we will have been to Mars for decades already, a decade at least. Um, so yeah, maybe space travel will be a lot more accessible to everyone. Um, but yeah, I think it will be interesting. It will be similar, but hopefully more fun. I don't know. I think with the metaverse and, all, and like the emergence of NFTs now becoming such a crazy thing, I think in a lot of ways social networking is going to move over. So I, I feel like if you think about like mixing Fortnite with normal interactions but without fighting, right? Imagine that. Maybe that is what the metaverse is. Like. That all versus it. But yeah, I think a lot of things would stay the same, but then I feel like a whole bunch of the social aspects and the way that we do things are going to move digital, like, to more digital platforms. Especially, and also with education, right? I'm just going to say this. With lockdown, I've realized like the idea of going to a university campus every day for lectures in person, I, I don't think it's that valuable of a concept. I think with reported lectures, people get to do the degree at their own pace. And so specifically education-wise, I think this has been a wake-up call that the system is sort of like arbitrary. Yeah, so I think that's going to change a lot. Probably one of the biggest things that's going to change. Yeah, so of course we can talk about climate change and stuff, but I don't know too much about that. Um, in 2050, to do with the space industry, my interest of course, um, I think people will be living and working on the moon and Mars. I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be so cool. I think there's going to be a really new and cool solar system economy that's going to be out there. I think it's going to be an exciting time to be on Earth or on the moon of Mars. Are you going to go? Yeah, I would <laughs> love to go. Even if it's just for two years to Mars, um, that would be amazing. At what like danger level would you go? Like when it's like still like a pioneering society, or like does it have to be like regular safe air travel before you go? Um, I think I will go as soon as I can. Really? So I doubt I'm going to be in the first few missions or the first few years of missions. I don't think I'll get the opportunity. But if I do, then I would. Um, I don't think it's going to be super dangerous at any point. Um, the space industry has been pretty safe for a while. Accidents do happen, but. They do take safety very seriously. Um, a job. Uh, one day I would like to visit Mars. It's awesome. That's been a goal of mine for a while. They'll no, take you with a master's degree. No yep. problem. Um, and then also in 2015, thinking back here on Earth, I think that will also look pretty different. Um, what first comes to mind is energy. I think that'll need to be different. So. Hopefully by then nuclear fusion is a thing, that'll be cool. Um, and also transportation, I think that'll be also be significantly different. So I don't think it's going to be very common for people to own a car, and I think it's going to be even less common for people to drive a car. So I think self-driving cars are going to be a big game changer in the next 30 years. I think that's going to make cities look very different. That's an optimistic question. I think. Yeah, I think people have always overestimated what can happen in one year, but we underestimate what can happen in 10 years. So going forward 30 years is quite a bit of a jump from that. Um, I think we'll be more connected than we've ever expected to be connected before. Like, I mean, just look at like Facebook and like this whole concept of the metaverse, whatnot, like maybe that's had some developments that have gone on and we just completely started to lose our connection to phys physical reality in some sense. Um, I just think you know, to the main. I think the main differentiation between now and then will just be the access accessibility of technology. Like everything that we now consider to be um, more advanced technology and what's more uh, more costly to access will just be almost a basic uh, a basic supply for all people across the globe. And hopefully, we're going to start seeing some of the advanced tech that that's in its infancy stages now. Like for example, travel to Mars 
or um, the access to like space um, travel and whatnot will be a lot more commonplace than it is currently. But yeah, no one can really predict for sure, but I definitely think it's going to be a very tech heavy world. In a technological sense, we've had everything's been going smaller and smarter. I think that's going to stop and maybe get bigger and more. I think there's going to be more stuff based around virtual. And it's going to, the, to, the focus is going to be more around being able to support NFTs and virtual currencies and virtual worlds and virtual reality. And I think that might have an impact on what or how we interact with each other. I think it's going to be less real communication and seeing people and doing things and much more virtual this and virtual that and virtual news and virtual social media and I don't know if that'll be the best place. I don't think we're going to learn our lessons from from this pandemic and focus on like what's important. I think we're going to run for a few more years into chasing profits and money and novelty um, and I hope the climate will still be okay but <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. I think I hope it's not like a nuclear wasteland kind of vibe. I think that would be a bit scary if that happens in 30 years because we'll only be 50. 50. Yeah, which I don't know if I'm ready for the world to look like a disaster at 50. But yeah, I think there'll be a strong trend towards this world of the future that we've seen. Like what you see in movies like Tron and Iron Man and that kind of stuff. I think people will try and replicate that, especially with electric cars and integration between everything. Like, the fourth industrial revolution, I think everything is going to get linked. Your car is going to talk to your fridge, to your watch, to your everything. Um, and the question will just be what we see in terms of natural disasters and pandemics and so on going forward. Because I think we're a bit too focused on profits and technology and material things and not, too, not focused enough on why we're here and maybe taking lessons on what goes wrong. So it'd be interesting one to see. Hot. Um, we'll probably be in the 12th wave of coronavirus with the gamma variant. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it me if I don't make a joke to start? <laughs> um, 2050. I haven't given it much thought. Uh, hopefully there's a Mikey Jr. He's probably my age at that point. Um, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> 20, 10 years, bro. <laughs> no, you Even won't. Even less. 2050. It's like... 28 years. Uh, probably a young Mikey of, of sorts. Um, You're the first person who said kids. You reckon? Uh, I don't know, probably. Uh, don't know when. <laughs> and, or with whom? Yeah, I was going to say, and especially don't know how I'm going to produce those <laughs> on my own. Um, what else about the world? I don't know. I, I don't think about the future too much, if I'm being honest. It's weird. Uh, I think the more I think about it, the more depressed I get kind of thing because you only ever hear the bad stuff. But, bro, we've probably solved a whole bunch of problems we don't even know exist yet. We've probably cured a whole bunch of diseases. People will be living amazing lives. Um, I like to think so. I like to think things are getting better. So hopefully it's like this or better. Definitely. <laughs> I just hope it's not like a nuclear wasteland or or half the coastal areas are flooded and whatever. Hopefully not, hopefully it's all good. The petrol price right now is 20 Rand a litre, I think. It's like 19.99. Future Mikey though is probably like, fuck off, it's 50 Rand now. <laughs> yeah, future me. Or what is a Rand even? Enjoy it. We only pay in Doge yeah. now. Um, what else should I document for future me? Hopefully you have an electric car by now because that's sort of the goal. Electric car, surfboard, small little house on the beach, MacBook Air. <laughs> Mitch, plug me in. Can recommend. Yeah. If we're doing like a, uh, what's the word? Time capsule. Then currently Chelsea have two Champions Leagues. Hopefully we have five by the time I watch this. So I'm a futurist. So I, I would love to say that there'll be, you know, we we'll, would have solved all diseases. We would have um, end, ended world hunger and poverty, income inequality. We'll have massive space travel all over the galaxy. Um, and those expectations, I think, do need to be tempered a bit, but I think we're going to have a little bit of all of those things. Like, I think we're going to have a booming, a starting space economy, and that's going to be really exciting to be a part of. Space travel will definitely be a big thing in the future. Um, regular trips to Mars and that, uh, I think, are going to be a big thing. 
and resource acquisition. I think um, internet connected uh, things, devices, people are going to become more and more important. Like you're going to find less and less of the world and less and less industries and people and lives that are unaffected by technology. Like if, if you don't uh, use technology in the future, you're going to be uh, left behind. And so I think just that interconnectedness and that um, engineering advancement in all fields is going to be very present in everyday lives. Like 50 years ago in now 2020 in 1970 i mean like cell phones were weren't around uh, you know most people didn't have access to the internet and so that kind of mind shift change that came around so quickly with the internet and cell phones and everything we take for granted now i think is going to be put on steroids in the next couple of years with exponential technological growth and so i'm excited i'm excited for 2050 where will i where would i be personally i don't know but i'll probably be surrounded by really cool smart loving people and we'll all probably be working on something big together that's that's my prediction yeah hard very hard to say uh, i think in 1950 people thought they'd be flying cars by the 2000s which as you can see is not the case um i feel like space travel will definitely be more normal or it won't be a concept that's very foreign to most so especially for the very rich going on holiday to Mars might be the norm um, yeah, I think just infrastructure like transport would just get better and better uh, you'll be able to go anywhere in the world a lot faster than today how fast I'm not sure um, but I'm sure there'll be some form of um, barrier we end up hitting or some ceiling where we either don't have the resources or uh, the speed of light stops us <laughs> from traveling fast enough. Uh, yeah, hopefully there's there's still just the human race um, running the world, not cyborgs or I don't know, mm. aliens. So it's probably a controversial question for a lot of people. Um, I think we will all like to think that things will get better, but I think it might get a little bit worse before it gets better. But we've been making a lot of good uh, breakthroughs in technology, you know, not just AI, but in the medical field. And um, I mean, if you just see how fast technology progressed in the last 10 years, I mean, the next 10 years are going to be much crazier. So I think it's going to improve. I think it's definitely going to improve, but I think we should rather focus on the earth and fixing problems on the earth while also obviously exploring other opportunities. But yeah, um, something like what open seas are doing currently is awesome. And yeah, if we can all combine, you know, like engineers, we can all work together with other people from different faculties and stuff. I think, yeah, I think the future looks bright.